do these muscles relate to our most common imbalances? Well, let's start here, because if the rectus femoris can't lengthen effectively to slow down hip extension, then remember the origin of the rectus femoris comes from the front of the pelvis to the kneecap. As the knee goes this way, behind the body, then the pelvis is going to want to come with it because the origin and insertion are going to go closer together because it doesn't have the ability to lengthen. So it's going to lead to an anterior pelvic tilt, that's an excessive uh, rotating forward of the pelvis, which also accompanies excessive lumbar lordosis. So that's how dysfunction of the rectus femoris can contribute to these common imbalances of the lumbopelvic hip girdle. Go ahead and do a squat for us. So if the rectus femoris, sorry, if the other quadricep muscles and including the rectus femoris can't lengthen effectively, then her knee can't go forward. And stand up, because I don't want to hold you there in that. I know that Brittany is probably the only person who can hold a squat for 10 minutes while I talk, but I just am conscious of that. So when she squats forward, her shins need to go forward over her foot. If her, rect if her quadricep muscles can't lengthen, then her knee is going to collapse inwards, which is going to lead to that, obviously, valgus knee position and tracking problems of the knee. But it's also going to uh, cause dysfunction all the way down to the feet and ankles. Because if her knee can't go forward, she's going to roll inwards and she's not going to dorsiflex. So face the camera for us and do a squat. Brittany's really good, but you'll see a lot of people when they squat, those knees, do you mind putting your knees together a little bit, just a little bit? That's it. So if the knees, if these can't lengthen, the knee collapses, the ankle doesn't dorsiflex, which contributes to overpronation as well. So stand up for us. So that's how the quadriceps or dysfunction in the quadriceps can affect our most common imbalances. And it's important to know this as you obviously design your corrective exercise programs.